Hey guys, um, I didn't really take any notes about the rest of your videos, so I don't really have anything to say to any of you, because I didn't really pay that much attention. Mostly I'm making this video because, um, I saw TJ's video, and I just wanted to bring up that Hurricane Irene did have a devastating impact, even though you and I both got lucky and it didn't hurt any of us. So, um... Mostly I'm just going to show you the damage that was caused in my town from the footage that I took, which really wasn't that much, and then I'm going to leave a bunch of links down below for you to see pictures of actual towns from my area that got destroyed by the storm. And the whole thing was just crazy. My friend lives on Jane Street, and across the parking lot is Main Street, and we were looking out her window across to the Speedy Mart on the corner of Market and Main Street and a tree fell and we watched a telephone pole snap and that was the scariest thing I saw out of the storm and then we had a few more down trees on Main Street and there's a clock there was a clock hanging in front of this bank and that came crashing down because of the wind too Saugerties Beach flooded this is footage from the day after the storm, so the water receded a lot, and it was flooded pretty badly, but again, we had mostly just downed trees and flooded basements. Um, there were no injuries that I've heard of, no deaths in the area that I've heard of, in Saugerties area, anyway. And then um, I went down to my grandparents' house, and this is their road, and it floods again day after the storm, and it's receded a lot, and then... This is footage of the creek that they live by, the Esopus Creek. And up around the bend from their house, a whirlpool formed. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Um, it's there from the footage I got because it's not that great, but there's a whirlpool there in the creek. <laughs> Overall, the damage in Saugerties wasn't that bad. And the links down below will show you that other towns got it so much worse and they were completely destroyed. Um, my friend lives in a town that got, I should say lived, in a town that got pretty damaged by it, so he's staying with me for a while, and yeah. If I tilt this down, you can see where he's sleeping in my bed and I'm standing on. So my friend is safe, he's staying with me for a bit, and all is good. Except the recovery from this is going to take a really long time. So enough about the hurricane because it's been crazy for me all week thinking about it and seeing the pictures and videos and talking about it that today I came across a news article that really was really really interesting. These, this artist um, went to I think it was in Times Square in Manhattan and he was painting um, a, a model. He was painting a model and she was topless because it's legal for women to be topless in New York State. Except many people don't take advantage of it for sort of obvious reasons, but this artist decided to take advantage of it. He was painting her and it was really cool artistically, but what, what was more interesting about this is that the model that he was painting, I went to high school with. She was in my high school class. I'll leave a link to the article down below so you can see the video of it. And it was really interesting. It was really cool to see something like that happen, and it's really cool to see interesting things happen to people you know. And to think that she was in my classes, and I know her, is just awesome. It was really awesome. Okay, I'm gonna end the video here. Um, I hope everyone has a great week. DFTBA, stay safe. Goodbye.